Something got taken from this vehicle and it is an unfortunate situation for the owner. Fortunately though, at 1A Auto, we're here to show you how to fix things yourself and save a lot of money in the meantime. Obviously this thing's pretty loud. It's got a missing component on the exhaust system and at this point you might already even know what that is. So let's bring it inside and talk about it further. Well, there's your problem right there. The catalytic converter is missing, it's gone. Obviously this is not by choice. This was a catalytic converter theft situation. Unfortunately, that is common because they are expensive. They have precious metals inside. So when anybody would recycle them, including the thieves, they get some money for it. Especially the bigger ones. This is a larger engine. It's a V6. So the bigger the engine, the bigger the catalytic converter and the more they cost, the more you get for them. And it's not that this makes the vehicle not run. Um, it kind of sort of leaves you stranded, mostly because it's really obnoxious to drive like this. It's very loud. It, sometimes can hurt your ears, honestly, especially if you're on the gas because it is, well, as you heard, extremely loud. Also, there's no more catalytic converter, so you're polluting a lot. And at this point, you're just left with a very expensive repair. You will have to not just assess the exhaust situation, obviously this needs to be repaired, but anything around it because when these pipes get cut with a reciprocating saw, the saw goes up and down and yeah, it cuts through the pipe, but it can cut through other stuff as well. This clearly has been chopped off. This is the downstream O2 sensor, oxygen sensor for this bank, obviously no longer exists. The wiring harness was cut on the sensor side, not on the main harness side. This was before the connector. Now it's gonna need a wiring harness or at least an extensive repair of the harness to be able to plug in a new sensor. And then on the other side of things, they hit the drive shaft here. So the drive shaft uh, did get, well, slightly cut by the reciprocating saw. Not enough to cause damage. I can feel the groove, but this is not something that would concern me uh, from a drive shaft point of view. Although if it was a deeper cut, this would create a weak point. And this being a four wheel drive vehicle, if you put it in four wheel drive and put force through it, could this break? Yeah, maybe it could crack. So obviously if it was a deeper cut, this would need a new drive shaft as well. But not just this. What if the transmission line here was close? What if there was a brake line or a fuel line or another sensor? Anything else that is in the vicinity where the cut is being made, it could get damaged and obviously would need to be addressed, replaced, fixed in whatever way it should be fixed. Now the fix for this, in my opinion, and what I recommend is to replace the entire catalytic converter pipe as an assembly. I'll explain why in a few minutes. However, what I also need to do is replace this O2 sensor. Obviously, if any other O2 sensors were damaged, I would also want to replace those. I want everything back to, well, pretty much factory because that's how the vehicle is going to run the best. Having said that, we do offer a lot of different catalytic converter pipes, obviously a lot of O2 sensors at oneauto.com. So not only if you need to replace yours because it's been cut, but maybe you need to replace it because it's damaged in whatever way. Maybe it's clogged. Maybe it just plain went bad. Well, check us out because you're probably going to find what you need also as a kit, which if you buy it as a kit can save you time in not having to piece together a bunch of pieces of the puzzle to make one whole unit here. It's not always that complicated to replace these, especially if you own a, uh, an SUV or a truck where there's a lot more space underneath. Sure, it might have a couple skid shields here, but a couple bolts, these are out and then it's wide open. It's a lot easier to replace. Now, even if you do have a car, smaller vehicle, most likely it has a smaller engine, smaller pipe, small things can fit easier. So that might also not be as difficult. So what I'm saying is it is uh, very easy to replace it yourself. So if you follow this pipe all the way back, you'll see that it leads into the muffler here. This clamp is in pretty poor condition. Not sure how much longer it has until it's going to give out completely. You can also see there's an exhaust leak. There's black soot built up here. This is carbon buildup from an exhaust leak. Exhaust leaks are bad and I will fix it. I'm not going to send the vehicle out like this. This clamp being in such poor condition, that needs to be replaced. These two pipes need to be separated. So this is one of the reasons why I want to do this whole thing as an assembly to fix it. If I just weld in a piece of pipe there with a catalytic converter in it, it's going to be extra work here. So instead of that, I'm going to combine the two problems and replace the catalytic converter pipe, which includes this right here, which also basically uh, forces me to fix this because this has to come apart. 
So now I have a brand new pipe with brand new catalytic converters and no exhaust leak if I do it all as one unit. So I might as well just do it all at once and get it done right, never have to come back to it. My second reason for wanting to replace both is only one got stolen. As you can see, this one's still here. It's got almost 150,000 miles on it, so it's been on here for a while and it's done its job for a long time. And that leads me into, well, if I put a new one on this side, not only is it going to perform differently, it might provide different back pressure to the engine than this one. And having both banks at different back pressures is not great for the engine. It wants to run evenly on the left and the right bank. So I would rather have two identical catalytic converters on here as opposed to one new and one old. It's kind of like buying tires. You don't just buy the left side or just the right side. You buy them both at the same time. Well, I got myself this exhaust pipe kit from oneauto.com. It comes split in half. This is the entire assembly. Unlike the original that is all one giant bulk unit, this is going to be a lot easier to install because it's split in half. I also got the O2 sensor that is now missing, so I can replace that. So let's get the old stuff out. If I see anything interesting, I'll share it with you. And let's get this vehicle running nice and quiet again. Since I have the pipe out now, I might as well just replace the O2 sensor or unplug the, <laughs> the old wire, whatever's left of it, and clip the new one in, get it ready to go on the pipe. Make sure that clicks. Now that it's clipped in, I'm just gonna hang it over here. That way it doesn't hit on anything. It doesn't get debris in the sensor part and I can put in the, uh, the new exhaust. So let's do that. So just for comparison, this is what it should not sound like. And this is what it's supposed to sound like. Nice and quiet. Here's a tip I want to leave you with. If you were not a victim of theft on the catalytic converter situation and you're replacing it because it just wore out, well, you want to find out why. If you don't have hundreds of thousands of miles on the vehicle, you only have like this one, 140, 150,000. Is it burning too much oil? Is it running uh, excessively rich? Is it running too lean? Maybe it needs spark plugs and it can't fire right. You wanna make sure you address the source of the problem because all of those can actually damage a catalytic converter prematurely. And if you don't fix the source and you put a new cat in it, well, guess what? That one's gonna go bad really quick as well. So always fix the source of the problem first.